the Harlem Globetrotters still have it Olympic triple jumper Will Clay on using his platform for good how Carl Nassib's coming out just changed the lives of many why Jarrett Cole's awkward presser points to bigger problem for MLB why the Supreme Court ruling is a defining blow for NCAA Elena Della Dunn on coming out during the Olympics Baseball Hall of Famer is thrilled to see crackdown on spider tack US high jumper Vashti Cunningham on what breaking a world record would mean the questions the Cowboys need to answer before they are considered contender Sith culture has never changed Carly Lloyd on US WNT's ability to consistently dominate 50? 47? Here's how long Tom Brady sees himself playing Tom Brady's advice to Aaron Rodgers on his current situation NBA rookie surprises mom with new Carmichael Johnson on how COVID has affected track and field Olympic hopefuls Urban Meyer mom on naming Trevor Lawrence starter. He's not ready yet Tokyo Olympics are less than a month away, and the United States will solidify its team for one of the most popular sports on Sunday. Simone Biles and the rest of the women's gymnastics field will close out the U.S. Olympic team trials at the Dome at America's Center in St. Louis with their second day of competition. The event will conclude with naming the 2021 women's Olympic team. Load error a fierce day one competition means there are still a lot of unknowns for the women's team outside of Biles. Several gymnasts could reasonably claim any of the four spots available behind Biles' lead. Here's everything you need to know going into the final day of the U.S. gymnastic trials. Unsurprisingly, Biles led the pack during the first day of competition Friday, finishing the first four rotations with an all-around score of 60.565. She scored over 15 on vault, beam and floor, and earned a 14.6 on uneven bars. Biles is nearly three points ahead of her nearest competitor. The competition is tight through the next five gymnasts though. Sunisa Lee heads into day two in second place separated from Jordan Chili's in third place by just over half a point. Behind Lee and Chili's in the rankings are Michaela Skinner, Grace McCallum and Kayla DiCello, who are all separated by 0.200 or less. Lee and Chili's were both near the bottom of the pack in floor exercise Friday, finishing 12th and 8th respectively. Chili's incurred a penalty for stepping partially out of bounds on one of her passes. McCallum took second behind Biles in the event. The U.S. will send six female gymnasts to Tokyo, a four-person team, and two individual competitors the top two finishers automatically secure spots on the Olympic team. The remaining two spots on the team, as well as the individual gymnast, will be chosen by a selection committee. Jade Carey already earned one of the individual spots thanks to her top performances on floor and vault in the individual event World Cup series. The other remaining individual spot will be awarded by the selection committee. The Olympic Channel will air the first 30 minutes of the women's competition starting at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Coverage will then switch to NBC at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, where the remainder of the event and team naming ceremony will be aired live. Viewers can also stream the event on NBCOlympics.com or NBC Peacock, the network's streaming platform.